discussion on left bundle branch block and STEMI criteria. Left bundle branch block is manifested on the ECG with wide QRS, deep slurred QS complex in V1 and slurred R wave in V6. ST segment and T wave vectors are discordant to the QRS vector, meaning that when the QRS is positive as in V6, ST segment will be depressed and T wave will be inverted. These are known as secondary STT abnormalities. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. If the ST segment and T wave are concordant to the QRS, it indicates a primary myocardial abnormality. An elevated ST segment and an upright T wave in V6 with a positive QRS is taken as evidence of myocardial infarction or ischemia in the presence of LBBB. Other features of myocardial infarction in the presence of LBBB are typical code ST elevation, prominent R waves in V1 and Q waves in V6. Usually the initial R wave in V1 and initial Q wave in V6 represents initial left to right activation of the interventricular septum. In LBBB, the initial left to right activation of the interventricular septum is absent. In the 2004 guidelines for management of ST elevation myocardial infarction, new or presumably new LBBB was considered as equivalent to STEMI. Many cases in which catheterization laboratory was activated and emergency angiogram done showed no acute coronary artery occlusion. Hence, the 2013 guideline removed this recommendation. But this could lead to denial of reperfusion therapy in those who actually have an acute coronary occlusion with LBBB on ECG. In this situation, Scarbosa ECG criteria is one of the most validated tool to help in the diagnosis of STEMI with LBBB. A Scarbosa score 3 or more has 98% specificity for acute myocardial infarction with angiographically confirmed acute coronary occlusion. Using Scarbosa criteria might prevent denial of reperfusion therapy while avoiding unnecessary cath lab activation. Other criteria described are Sylvester 10% RS criteria and Smith 25% SY criteria. All these have concordant ST segment elevation in common with Scarbosa criteria. Scarbosa criteria for discordant ST segment elevation is 5 mm or more. Sylvester 10% RS criteria is ST segment elevation which is 10% or more of absolute S minus absolute R plus STEMI limits that is ST elevation required for the given lead. Smith 25% S wave criteria is ST elevation 25% or more of the S wave amplitude. Another new criteria for computerized interpretation is based on ST segment elevation in relation to the QRS area in the presence of LBBB. Here are a couple of relevant journal references. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.